Alright guys, we have learned about material UI, typography, theming. We have also created a toggle button which will toggle between dark theme and light theme. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can add custom styling to your component with CSS in JS. So first of all, what is CSS in JS? Now I have created a video and wrote a blog post about it. I will put this link on the description. Please check that out. Now what basically CSS in JS is, it is um, simply writing your CSS in JavaScript. The goal of CSS in JS is to write scoping CSS. With scoping CSS, we don't have to worry about conflicting styling between components. We will write our CSS styles inside of our component. And if you want to learn more about it, please check the video first. We have learned about how to change styling of material UI components with props. So if you want to change the color of typography component, you add a color prop and that changes the color of the typography component. But how do you add some custom styling like padding, margin, etc. In order to do that, we are going to use CSS in JS. And to write CSS in JS, we are going to use makeStars function from material UI. Now makeStars is just a function which we need to call. And inside the function, we need to pass our custom styles as parameter and it will return us a hook and we need to call that hook to get the class names. Let's write some code to understand it more. Now I'm going to create another file which will be make styles dot tsx sorry jsx so again rafce for component and let's import some component from material UI. So I'm going to import box, which is just a container type of component, nothing too special. So box from um, material UI core slash box. And also I need to import typography. So let's just replace those divs with box. So box, then add a typography component. Now inside that I'm going to put, uh, this is CSS in JS. I would give the typography component the h1 variant so variant h1 i would align to center so just save the file and pretty i just auto formatted my code and if you want to learn how to set up eslint and prettier i have a video about it on my channel i will put the link on the description so let's just run the development server. So yarn dev. So this is our text and it is surrounded by a box container. So if I inspect this. So what if you want to add some background color to the box component and some padding to the H1? How would you do that? That's why we are going to use make stars function. So I'm going to import make styles. Import, it will be a named import, which is um, make styles from material UI core slash styles. Now make styles is a function, so we need to call it make styles. Now inside this function call, we need to pass an object as argument. Now the properties of this object will be the class names that we want. We need to provide some class names as property in this object. So I'm going to call it container and it will also be another object. And inside this object, we need to specify our styles. 
Now, if you have used inline styling with JSX, then it will be familiar to you. So I want to add a background color. Just keep the property name, background, then colon, and, and you have to give the value as string. So I want the background color to be red. So red, and again, it has to be string and no semicolon because we don't put semicolon in the object. It is just simply a JavaScript. We want to add some padding inside the container. Padding, one rem. Now what mixtiles function will return us is a hook. So we need to store that. So const use styles. And now the return hook will be stored inside the use styles. So let's just call the hook inside the component use styles. And this use styles will also return us an object. So let's store that const classes. Now it will return us an object with class names. Now for demonstration, let's just console log classes. So if I save the file, if I go to console and here is our object, as you can see that the property name is exactly same the class name that we have put inside the object container here it is also container but the difference is the value is make styles dash container the our class name and then a number now what make style has done is create a unique class name and we need to put that class name inside our component so that the styles that the unique class name has stays scoped inside that component so that it won't conflict with other component and if you don't understand what I'm saying please watch the CSS in JS video so what we need to do now is take the class name and put it inside our component so what I want to do is just destructure the class names from the from the returned object so delete the console log I don't need classes so we have container property so container we are just pulling out the property and value as a variable from that object and this container variable is storing the class name so let's just add it to the box class name and container if i save the file we will have a background color and padding to the container our make styles function is working fine and if I go to elements and if I see the box component and as you can see that we have the unique class name inside the div. So this is how you basically use make styles to create some custom styling for your component. So let's move forward. There is another thing that you need to know about is you can't use dash inside a property name. If you want to give a padding top then what we normally do in CSS is padding dash top then our value. Now in JavaScript, you can't use dash inside the property name in an object. It is not simply allowed. So what you need to do is remove the dash and make the whole world as camel case. So make the T to uppercase. It will work fine. And if I add uh, three rem to the property now our padding top should be three rem so save the file so here it is we have more padding to the top all right now we have known how to add custom styling directly to that component or to that tag but what about nested styling we have some nested selectors right so how do we do that now to do that inside the same object you need to create explicitly a string as a property now JavaScript property names are already string, but you can also do that. So if you want to do background like this, it will also work. So for nested styling or using other CSS selectors, what you need to do, use the and sign like this. I don't know how it is pronounced, 
but let's just ignore that then you need to use your selector I want to select this H1 and change the color of the font so in order to do that I will just type H1 and it will select my H1 then I need to create another object and inside the object I also need to specify the styles I want so I want to change the font color so so color to white so if I just save the file so we have our font color changed you can also use some pseudo selectors or pseudo elements what if you want to use the theme variables inside make styles how would you do that for example if you want to change the background color from red to the primary color you need to access the theme variable so to do that instead of passing an object we can pass a function let's just create a function I will use an arrow function and that function needs to return an object with styling so we need to basically return this object okay so to return that object we need to surround the curly braces with parentheses and now this function is returning that object and if I save the file it should work fine alright it is working fine now to get the theme variable we can pass a parameter and the first parameter that we pass will be the theme variable so pass theme and this theme will be the theme object and now we can use that so I will remove the red string and then theme dot and again theme is just an object then palette then primary then main okay so theme dot palette dot primary dot main and if I save the file we will now have the primary background color it is working fine and you can use any kind of value from the theme object inside this make stars so if this video has been helpful for you please like the video i'll see you in the next video